Welcome back to another video, guys. I've already recorded this intro like eight times. I've hated every single one. So let's just jump right into it. I decided to do a test to determine which DNS provider was going to be the most secure for my network. I already was using, I've already used a couple different secure DNS solutions, and I wanted to see one, am I doing the right thing? Two, did I pick the right provider? And three, uh, there is no third. It doesn't matter. So I wanted to show you guys what I did, how I did it, where I got my information from, and of course, give you the results from what I did. I do have to preface this by saying I did rip off some code from Lawrence Systems on here on YouTube, but he said to. He said I could do it. He said I provided the code for you, so might as well do it. Why, re why, why re recreate the wheel, right? So let's just jump on over to the computer and figure and show you what I did, how I did it, why I did it, and the results. The results might surprise you because when I saw the results, I was like, there's no way. There is no way. And I'll explain why I said that when we get to the results. Let's get into it. All right, so we're now over to my main computer. And I do main Windows, but it's just easier to do some things on Linux. And I'm a Ubuntu fanatic, if I do say so myself. I'm not too, fan I'm not too much of a fan of the 20 2024 versioning of Ubuntu, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um... So the first thing I did was create a Ubuntu testing environment on my VMware workstation. I know VMware, whatever. Um, I do not like what's the, uh, I do not like the other uh, virtual mich or virtual hosts. And uh, so I just work with what works. Um, I could use Hyper-V, I guess it's built into Windows, but VMware workstation works for me and that's just what I'm gonna do. So let's get to it. So the first thing I did was determine how I was going to go how I was going to get the domains that were malicious. So I was looking up different things on who has the best domain list for malicious websites XYZ. I settled on URL, URL hoss, which is from abuse.ch. Um, and I think it's a pretty good system. It's one of the only ones out there right now that has updated domains there's a lot of old websites that have that haven't been updated in a few years and this one is pretty pretty is updated regularly um so the first thing i did was i just went over to access data api um and it gives you a bunch of apis that you can call to get the information so it really starts off with url so the first thing i did was just i want a, a plain text url list but it's actual URLs, it's not domain. So it's not as great and it doesn't work as well. Just, you can't, you can't, there's, for example, there's URLs in there that are legitimate domains, but they, but the URL links to malware. So it's, it's just not, it's not a great one to use. So what I ended up using was the host file um, for domains only. So, which is really nice. It just gives you a list of domains and it was really easy to download and manipulate and all of those things. So um, I did write all this down in my GitHub. So if you go down to my GitHub or go over to my GitHub, um, you'll find all the links and everything that I'm using, that I'm using all the code and everything that I'm using in this video down in my GitHub. So I did create a little script to run, again, linked in my GitHub. Um, so I just grabbed the URL feed host files here, um, did a request. Uh, I played around with regex to get what I actually wanted. Uh, it's, it's not in a actual text file and it's not, it's not very, it's not formatted correctly. It's just straight HTML, just object. It's just whatever. So I had, this is what I settled on. So it's basically just saying, uh, look for anything with, um, letters and then dot letters, right? So it's gonna look for, um, it's gonna look for anything that's not, cause if you, when you get it, let's see if I still have it up. When you get it, there's, there's, um, it's a host file. So you just copy and paste this whole fi host file into your host file on your computer. And it just black holes them into your local DNS or local loopback address. So you have to, filter out that loopback in order to actually use that data. So when you pull it, 
you'll initially get this loopback address as well as just some junk here. So um, the regex is going to pull anything with a dot blank after it. I pulled all of it. I didn't really care if it was dot cn, dot org, dot net, whatever. I just wanted to pull a list. Uh, but it also poses, it also po pulls like abuse dot ch and url hoss dot abuse dot ch. So you do have to strip that piece out. But other than that, it just gives you the list of domains here. And that's about it. So this is updated pre pretty regularly. So this is March 4th when I pulled this rep just right now. And um, so I took two days worth of data and then just combined it into one text file. Um, so if you look here, this is what I ended up going with for my, uh, for my tests. I just basically did this and then I went and filtered out any duplicates. And this was, this was the list that I came up with about 426 or something like that, over 400 domains to test against. Um, and then over on my Ubuntu, I created a DNS. So actually I didn't create this. This is what I ripped off from Lawrence systems. He already had a batch script already created so i just ripped it off and then just made it my own um so i did utilize these ips so i was targeting cloudflare quad nine my own cloudflare D, uh, next dns next dns that i custom customly made ad guard and then open dns so those are the seven dns services that i used and then it just loops through that domain list and then does a dig on that domain and then echoes those all out. So if they resolve, it'll give you the IP address. And if it doesn't resolve, which it's not supposed to resolve because it's malware, it will just be a blank or it'll resolve like that. Like for example, Cloudflare resolves to their block page. So essentially you just get the block pages IP address. So after that, you can just filter all that unnecessary data out and then that's your data. So that's what I did. That's how I set it up. That's the list that I used. Now let's look at the results because I thought the results were interesting to say the least. So let's pull it up. Uh, let's look at this nice little graph. So from left to right, they are all under each category. So the first one is just Cloudflare 1. So that's 11111. It doesn't have any filtering by default. And it resolved 86, almost 87% of all the malware URLs that it shouldn't have, right? The next one was quad nine at 1.41%, which is pretty good. It, I mean, I expected quad nine to be fairly uh, sufficient at blocking malicious domains. Again, these are a couple days old. So they are updated. They're updating their backend just as fast as these are being updated to abuse.ch, which is awesome. The next one was my own personal Cloudflare account. So you can have a IP address that you send all your DNS requests over to, and then you can set up what you want to block, such as security. I have malware, command control, uh, phishing, you know, the big things and some categories and such like that. So it only allowed 3%, a little bit more than quad nine, but 3% is still really good. I, I was, I was pleasantly, surprised or hopeful that Cloudflare was going to do well and they did pretty well. The next one was next DNS. So this is next DNS without any filtering. So next DNS you can point to as a free DNS resolver, but by default it doesn't have well by the result it doesn't have any any filtering enabled. So again 87% a slightly higher than Cloudflare 1. Um was kind of expecting that. I did see that in other videos that were using next DNS. And I thought, well, maybe if I set up my own personal next DNS, I can block actual, you know, malicious traffic. And that's what I did for the next one. So next DNS personal, that's my own personal one. It only allowed 0.47%, 0.47%. That blew my mind. I was not expecting next DNS to just blow me away. I was not, I, you know, I was thinking comparable to Cloudflare maybe, um, maybe ad guard is the next one, but less than 1% of the malicious domains that I use that over, you know, a couple days worth of gathering less than 1%. 
completely blew my mind. Um, wow, that's that's <laughs> that's awesome. And I just have um, a couple of intelligent threat feeds turned on, uh, phishing turned on, a couple of settings. I'll go into it when I pull it up, but it's that's that's insane. Uh, next one is just AdGuard, which is another free service. Just pointing at AdGuard, two two point one one percent. So, of the three of the four that I was expecting to do some filtering, Cloudflare was unfortunately <laughs> the higher of the three or higher of the four. But three percent is still pretty good. Um, whatever. And then the one that really, besides Next DNS just being incredible, the one that really surprised me was Open DNS. So I just pointed this to I have my own. I, it, I ran it twice because I was so confused by the results that I had to run it multiple times. So the first time, I haven't used OpenDNS in a few years, probably four or five, but I still have an account out there. But the first one I just set up to use the OpenDNS IP addresses. Uh, I didn't check to see if my IP address for my home network was updated in OpenDNS or anything like that. I just ran it. And I think it was maybe 80, I think it was right around 86%. The first one, I said, that's, there's no way, right? There's just no way. And then I was like, okay, let me see if I can turn on my filtering. Maybe by default, it doesn't have filtering, even though they claim that it's supposed to be having all these, uh, you know, threat intelligence and the Cis Cisco intelligence and all that. And I was like, okay, let me go check out if if it's me, right? If, it, if it's me. And so I set up my account, I refreshed my IP address and I got the logs and I could see it being hit. And it still only result. It still resolved seventy six percent of them. I I just that's just unacceptable. It is something that supposed to? And I don't know if they're getting away from the secure point or secure aspect of it, or is it just because I have malicious and command control turned on to block it for my my personal account for Open DNS. So I just this number shocks me. I I'm completely shocked. That was insane to me. But let's go over to the winner, right? So next DNS technically wins, right? It got less than 1%. Um, and let's go over to security. And I just have the basic next DNS security feeds turned on. The, the threat intelligent feed, AI driven threat detection, safe browsing. I mean, nothing too crazy. Crypto jacking, typo squatting, um, newly, newly seen domains or newly registered domains. I mean, nothing really crazy. Block domains. And it did the best. Again, it's a free, it's a free service. So if you want to utilize Next DNS, not a bad, situ not not a bad, um, not a bad product. So that's it. That's that's the that was the grand reveal of what DNS is the most secure. Um, surprisingly, Next DNS comes out on top, and I was not expecting that at all. I'm not going to change. I still use Cloudflare's DNS and I'm going to continue to use Cloudflare's DNS because they have additional features that I want to use, such as the warp client that I talked about in a previous video. Uh, so using the DNS and then getting that SSL decryption inspection and all that on top of it makes it, it, it rises to the top, but next DNS does have a lot of cool features that I thought about using in the future and thought about recommending for parents and things because you can turn off, you can have separate profiles, one for your kids and one for your one for the parents. So you can actually turn off DNS resolution at a specific time and stuff like that. Cloudflare, you can do it, but it's not as intuitive and not as easy for parents and people that are not technical, right? Next DNS is, a, you can turn on a schedule, right? So. If you're looking for a product and you just are looking for DNS, just just looking for DNS, I personally would recommend Next DNS. Blew me away. I am shocked. I'm shocked, right? It 0.47% is insane. Um, so that's the winner. I mean, but they're all really good. Quad Nine's good, and so is AdGuard. I mean, I don't not recommend those other ones, but you can't argue with the data, right? That's that's impressive. So that's the numbers. If you have any questions, let me know if you thought that I skewed some data or you thought I didn't run a, a test correctly or have suggestions on how I can run a test differently that or a different DNS um, server that you want me to run these tests against or if you want to do it yourself, doesn't really matter. Let me know down in the comments. If you like the video, If please like, subscribe. This is what we're going to be doing for the rest of the year.
um, just kind of going through Cloudflare and setting up how to secure your network to so join us on the journey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.